What's good YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share what sold on eBay and on Poshmark over this past weekend and this was another really good weekend for sales. Sold way more than I sold on Poshmark. eBay was just blowing up this weekend for me so I was definitely glad about that but trust me I listed a ton of stuff on eBay over the past like three or four days. I put up at least 60 listings on eBay just to really kind of get the ball rolling because honestly I know I've been sourcing a ton. I've been sharing a lot of videos with you guys but I haven't been listing as much as I would have liked to so over the past few days I've just been listing a ton of stuff and of course as you list more sales come in more so I was happy about that so if you guys want more information on how to improve your eBay or Poshmark business check out the first link in the description that'll take you guys to my patreon page and there's where I'm doing more of an eBay 101 and I'm just answering some questions that you guys may have and I'm just doing it in video form to just really answer the questions as best as possible so if you're interested in that click the link in the description and without further ado, let's get into it. So starting things off is this Bose Wave Radio. And I got this from uh, Goodwill a few weeks ago. And it sold for $79.99 with free shipping. At first, I had this listed for $79.99. And I was charging about $13 for shipping. And I realized it just was not selling. It was sitting for way too long. I wasn't getting any offers. I had a couple watchers, but nothing too serious. So uh, after the 30 days was up, I decided to just take off the cost of shipping because I realized I probably could still make a decent amount of profit on this one. And then I just listed it for $79.99 and it sold the same day once I took off the cost of shipping. So um, like I said, during the summertime, you got to adjust. You got to adjust your prices. You might have to take lower offers and things like that just to continue to make some money and let go of some items. But this was definitely a good sale for me because I believe I only paid $10 for this Bose Wave radio. And if it had the remote, I probably would have got some more money for this one. But I'm pretty sure whoever bought this will probably just buy the remote separately. So I have a pair of Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 35 running shoes for women. And these were in excellent condition. I actually got these from a Goodwill as well for only $3. It was on the half off day and no one got a chance to see these yet. It, that's just a part about being consistent and trying to be the first person in the door when the these sales come about and I got these shoes for three bucks so this was a hell of a steal that day and these sold for $49.99 uh, plus nine dollars shipping and uh, like I said just a very good sale next is this pair of Teva sandals and I picked these up from the UGG outlet for only two dollars and fifty cents there was a great sale going on that day and I was only able to grab one of these so I wish I was able to grab a ton more but these sold the next day after listing these and these are actually brand new without the box and the funny thing is this is probably my fifth or sixth time selling this exact same sandal in the same colorway and I usually find this in the thrift store so if you guys are out in the field you're checking these the, these local thrift stores be on the lookout for Tiva because it always sells pretty well for me even if it was used I would have gotten at least 30 bucks for these Next up is this pair of Van Skate High Leather Sneakers for men. Um, these are actually a size 9.5 in men or an 11 in women's. And these sold for $39.99 with free shipping. I actually got a couple offers on Poshmark from some lowballers. But as I tell you guys all the time, I just decline lowball offers. I don't even counter them anymore. So I was happy that these sold for $39.99 free shipping. I was able to put it in a padded flat rate envelope. So I didn't spend uh, too much money on shipping for these. Next is a Nintendo Wii. And I had maybe five of these Nintendo Wiis all for sale. Um, they've been selling slower than I would have liked them to sell for. But in one of my videos, I'll put up a clip here for you guys so you can check that one out. I picked up all of these Wii's in one day. I think I picked up four in a day and I paid, I think, $8 a piece for them. And these were some, they were pretty dirty. So I did have to clean them up and do some work. But after I tested all of them, they worked perfectly fine. And I was able to sell each of these for 40 bucks a piece. So I have one left and um, hopefully that one sells pretty soon. Next is this vintage LL Bean sweater and this the thing with these sweaters is that I was telling you guys I was trying to um, still kind of preparing for fourth quarter but I decided to list this sweater anyway and it sold for 35 bucks so definitely still pick up sweaters if you can jackets if you can they're still selling of course not as fast as we would like them to sell right now but people are you know clearly they are either stocking up for the winter or they're just trying to get a good deal so these sold pretty quickly for me next is this pair of sass siesta moccasins and these were in excellent use condition practically brand new and these were um sass sass is one of those brands that i don't pick up often it has to be in really good condition for me to pick it up and these shoes like I said really good condition so for $32.99 free shipping I was originally asking 40 bucks but 
you know, I was getting no offers, no watchers, no anything. So I lowered the price to 32 and it ended up selling shortly after I changed the price. So like I tell you guys all the time, go ahead, change your prices frequently just to make some sales. Next is this Peyton Manning jersey. This is something else I had to lower the price on. I was asking $35.99 for this one and no offers or anything. So I just lowered the price, $29.99 free ship. And it sold the same day after I lowered the price, just about four or $5. So just some of the stuff you gotta do to you know seal the deal. Next is this truck cycling jersey. And I've been selling a bunch of cycling jerseys lately. I'm really just trying to focus on um, more like summer and athletic related stuff to sell around this time of the year because that's the stuff that people are searching for and this one sold within about two days after listing it so be on the, on the lookout for these uh cycling jerseys i do have a couple that i listed on poshmark and they have not sold yet but hopefully they do sell soon because like i said now is the season where people are looking for it next up is this pair of quicksilver amphibian shorts and these are actually brand new with tags i picked these up for two bucks as well during that same half off day sale at the goodwill and these sold as soon as i listed them on ebay about six or seven hours later and i probably listed them for a little too cheap but usually when i get quicksilver stuff they don't sell for a ton of profit so i just listed it for what i usually sell it for and it sold within about eight hours so be on the lookout for quicksilver stuff especially if it's brand new with tags if it's used i usually pass on it though next up is this travis matthew polo and travis matthew isn't like a high-end golf brand or anything but i've been telling you guys i've been selling a ton of golf pieces lately uh, especially nike especially tiger woods nike um travis matthew is definitely another one that i sell a, a, quite a few of it and it doesn't sell for a ton of profit 25 bucks i paid two bucks for this so still a decent amount of profit i just decided to charge a little more in the initial price and just include free shipping that way the buyer would feel uh, more incentivized to make a purchase next is this amazon kindle and i paid two bucks for this amazon kindle this was the first generation so definitely not uh, highly sought after or anything like that the comps on these i've seen some sell as low as 16 bucks and some sell as high as 25 usually if it was 25 they had some uh just some more stuff included with it like a charger and like a bundle it just had some other things included with it but i actually just had this this cord laying around the house so i just decided to include it with that just to make a sale and i was happy that it sold so quick so i made some decent profit i was able to throw this in a first class envelope and uh, I think it sold within about uh, maybe eight or nine hours after listing it. Next is a pair of shorts from the brand Cool. These were in really good condition as well. The only problem with these shorts is the fact that they had a minor spot on the back and I tried to clean it out, but it didn't get off. So uh, it probably was just a tough stain. And I listed it as is 25 bucks and it sold within about three days after listing it. So Cool is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. I usually sell it uh maybe at least two or three times a month i might sell something from this brand so be on the lookout for this as well next is a reebok carolina panthers jersey and this is actually a stephan davis jersey this was actually in a trip to the thrift video and i i remember saying that this probably wouldn't sell anytime soon it might take a while but it sold pretty quickly for 25 bucks free shipping um that's that's been my sweet spot if you guys couldn't tell 25 bucks free shipping for first class items that stuff that's not like hype or highly sought after I'm, I'm pricing it right around there that way i can still make a decent amount of profit and of course i could have always said 19.99 plus six dollar shipping or five dollar shipping but when you're doing it 24.99 with free ship the best thing about that is that you're saving money on fees because if you didn't know ebay charges you for the initial price and then they charge you whatever um, you charge for shipping as well they charge you fees on that too so that's one thing that's been helping me so far just offering free shipping and avoiding some of those extra fees that eBay likes to pack on. Now moving on to the Poshmark sales is this golf polo shirt from the brand Johnny O. And this probably isn't even a golf polo shirt, but I mean, anything polo and anything, anything like a golfer would wear, I'm usually using that in the keywords. Unfortunately, I didn't use it in the keywords on this, but I did, I did use golf on the eBay keywords. And thankfully it sold here on Poshmark first for 15 bucks. So this isn't a brand I will tell you guys to be on the lookout for. It's, it's kind of like a lower end brand. It doesn't sell for a ton of profit, but it moved pretty quickly for me. It sold within about two days. So I was happy about that. Next is this shirt from the brand Kenzo. Kenzo is kind of like a menswear brand, kind of like a streetwear brand. Um, it's kind of dope, but it's not as hype as it used to be. 
Um, maybe if this was a couple years ago, this shirt would have sold for at least 40 bucks, but the value just isn't there anymore. The demand just isn't there. So this one sold for 25 I was asking 29 and I paid, I think, 2 or $3 for this shirt from a garage sale. Next is this 10 Deep vest, and this vest I had in the in the inventory for quite a while. Um, if I waited a little longer, maybe until fourth quarter, this might have sold for some more profit, but it was just one of those things that I had for quite a while and I was just ready to let go of it and it sold for 20 bucks so I'm pretty sure I gave that buyer a good deal but um people aren't necessarily looking for 10 deep as much as I thought so if I come across this brand again I'll probably go pass on it next is a pair of Uggs and I have a ton of these in the inventory still I have if you guys check my Poshmark closet I have a ton of Ugg shoes because I've been doing a lot of outlet shopping lately and I have some that I didn't even list yet because I'm kind of holding on to those until fourth quarter rolls around but I'm still listing shoes here and there just to kind of fill up my Poshmark closet and I was asking 59 these sold for 45 I have so many that I figured I might as well just accept it and try to get the ball rolling next up is this short sleeve uh, windbreaker from the brand Footjoy and this one was brand new with tags the only thing is it did have some stains especially since it's all white and this is actually how I, per how I purchased it I purchased it with a ton of stains but I figured it would still sell Whoever would pick this up would probably just pop the tags and throw it in the wash or just rock it as is. It, the stains were so minor, some people wouldn't even care. But um, on the tags, this sold for a ton of money. But um, of course, with the stains and the fact that I know I only paid, I think, $1.50 for this, I just went ahead and accepted 40 bucks for this. And last but certainly not least is this Honda Goldwing motorcycle jacket. Now, if I rode a motorcycle, I probably would have kept this jacket. I put it on, it fit me well, but I don't ride a motorcycle and it's a little too dangerous for me. So this one sold for 68 bucks. I was asking 79, but I got a good offer, so I went ahead and accepted that. So if you guys come across these motorcycle jackets, definitely pick it up. On eBay, these were kind of trending around 69 uh, plus shipping. And this one, like I said, I just took the first offer that came because it was pretty fair. So I went ahead and accepted that. And that's all I got for my Poshmark sales. All right, y'all. That's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Just rate is lower, ain't it? Beside the auction, no.